Hi everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. And in today's session, we'll be dealing with how to make use of animated switcher in Flutter. So this animated switcher is a widget which will be very much helpful in providing certain kinds of animations. So basically, I have made use of two kinds of animations over here. One is scale transition and another is rotate transition. So you can see this simple UI, this payment container. If we click on this proceed pay button then you can see that this receipt container just pops in using a small scale transition effect so I again if you click on this back button then you can see that uh, the payment container again pops in so this rendering is actually done with the help of this animated switcher widget and the another transition what I have tested is the rotate transition if I click on this rotate button you can see that the container gets spinning and just pops in so now you get the second container if you click on this again you can see that you can you'll be able to view the first container though this rotate transition is pretty weird for this use case it might be helpful for some other scenarios so for this tutorial we can just focus on this scale transition alone okay and let me show you how to develop this from scratch so let's get started with the coding part Okay, uh, I have just made a list of widgets what we will be making use of in this tutorial. So um, these are all some kind of widgets that is general widgets we will be making use of and uh, I have just predefined all those in a separate dart file and uh, we are not going to focus on this UI part. So let's just quickly jump to the logic part of how to develop that animated switcher. Okay, first let me just create two variables. A boolean variable first is the is scale so why we will be using is um right okay so this variable will be making use to keep track of um two kinds of transition as said before we'll be having rotate and scale transition so initially I will be setting it as false if it is set as true then it will be having a scaling transition if it is set as false it will be just toggling the transition to rotate transition okay so to keep that up transition event we will be making use of this variable and another is is animated okay so this boolean variable we will be making use of to render the particular container so as I said before we will be having two kinds of containers one is payment container and another is paid container right so to keep track or to make sure which container to render we will be making use of this is animated boolean variable okay and this is a simple app bar what we have and inside a container i will be having column widget and inside this column widget we have a container and inside this container is what takes the child that is the animated switcher okay animated switcher will be taking a list of parameters one is the first and foremost is the duration okay first we let me specify the duration value okay so this duration denotes uh, the time that needs to be the time it just takes for, for making the transition okay um, let me provide that in milliseconds the more uh, the time you give the slower the transition will be okay first is transition duration let uh, let the second parameter be the transition builder okay transition builder parameter uh, okay and this transition builder will be taking the widget which is the child and Next is the animation which takes the double value animation okay and we'll be providing the arrow function and we'll be checking the condition which, uh, whether it is is scale so to make sure which transition to render if it is so if it is a scaling transition then we'll be providing the scale transition with the parameters as child is the child from that transition builder and next is the scale okay the scale is the animation okay 
uh, acid is turning up brighter the second condition is the rotation transition okay and this rotation transition will also take uh, the child and instead of scale it will be taking turns okay right um, now we have just specified the transition alone now we just need to provide the or we need to develop that container okay um, this animated switcher will be taking the child which is the animation we need to create a custom widget function okay this function returns a widget and actually based on the a condition is animated okay whether to render which can which container whether the payment or the paid container first let me provide the build payment container if the anime is animated as it is true or else when we build the paid container okay or i think the paid will be the first since we are checking it for true we'll be checking the paid container first and we'll be building the payment container first. okay well that's it now click on this proceed pay so what the error is let's go to this we haven't written any condition you say this on press event so that is is triggering this stopping this to avoid the transition effect and inside this payment button see here we have an empty on press event so what we need to do here we just need to just toggle all the boolean values uh, let me first toggle the is animated boolean value as animated is equal to not of is animated Okay, let me give the is scale as true okay because we are inside a scaling transition let me set it as true actually we need to give these both inside the set state right okay now we can just update the ui now we click on the proceed pay you get this scale transition similarly if you want to have a animated transition you can have that let me just create another button quickly which is the text button which takes the child which is the text that is rotate okay for now i'm not going to decorate this with a simple ui we can hold on and inside this on press event alone we just need to toggle the animation which is a mandatory one is animated as out of is animated and similarly we need to set is scale as false and as usual in, we need to just wrap that inside the set state just to make uh, use just to um, handle the state events okay so as it is a rotate transition we just provide is scale as false so if you click on this rotate button you can see the rotate transition actually gets triggered okay if you click on this back button you get the scaling transition well that's it guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye